Well, there were always problems. Very often it was with the actress herself because she didn't like certain things. But uh, you could usually get around that. You see, many times we borrowed our own clothing, the actress's clothing, or friends, and uh, used these uh, as part of our wardrobe. The other problem was uh, if you had to make a costume, uh, you had to be uh, mindful of the cost of it because we didn't have an unlimited budget. And uh, we would <coughs> estimate how much it would cost, and then we bought our fabric. Generally, if we had um, uh, elegant fabrics, such as satin and uh, taffetas, we bought them in Maharams, which was located just off Times Square in New York City. So we would go in there and buy yards and yards and yards of uh, fabric and uh, mesh and uh, ribbon trimming and glitter trimming and all kinds of things to make things look elegant. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. We, had, we set a record with this because B.B. Supple designed the costumes. You see, these are her drawings. And um, then we fell to and make, made them. We all worked on it. And we, I think the total cost was something around $4. And I don't remember the numbers in the cast, but there were probably about 25. The total cost of all the costumes? Of all the costumes because we used people's, girls' and boys' own blouses or shirts or shorts or women's skirts if they had one and we just used whatever stuff we had to make up aprons and whatnot and um, one thing I remember distinctly was that in this show they um, made us baby I think made us realize so definitely we must not put people in white things they can look white uh, by the contrast mm -hmm. but they must be a delicate tint so we used old sheets I think children are more difficult to play to. For example, you uh, may not go on and on and on talking to children. They get tired of it. Uh, adults will take an endless monologue. Children will not. They want uh, a little magic. They want a little mayhem. They want a little music. Uh, if you get a little dancing in, uh, that helps. And uh, add animals, something to break the monotony. For instance, we have had sort of unwritten rules, uh, unless they are now written down, for membership. And that is, at, at one point in our um, tenure, there you had to do a certain, in order to be an active member, you had to do a certain number of things during the year. And if you acted in something, you were asked to do something in production on another show. Uh, if you wanted to be really interested in the children's show, and that was your thing, mm -hmm. um, they asked that you do something on another production because everybody wanted to do the children's show. Right. That was the fun.
And another thing in Jack and the Beanstalk that um, was very effective was the, the giant. Uh, the way we did that was to create an enormous uh, leg, just the thigh and the, and the leg and the foot, which appeared from the wings so the children could see it. And then also this huge arm dropped down. But the thing that was so uh, amusing was that when the play was over, the children came backstage to see the giant. And they were really just all broken up to think that there wasn't any giant except the <laughs> no, foot and giant. the arm. Yes. 